Commissioner Neil Mull with the Canadian Securities Exchange. Um, to everybody that has registered, we'll be registering for our Investing in Psychedelics series, Building Value Through IP, that's put together and brought to you by not only the Canadian Securities Exchange, but also CFN Media, as well as Zuber Lawler. Today, I am uh, proud to introduce James Coe. James is the CEO of Trip Therapeutics, which is listed on the CSC. James, thank you so much for joining us. Um, why don't you begin by telling us a little bit about Trip Therapeutics? What do you guys do? Yeah, thanks, Anil, for having me. And I'm glad to be able to speak about Trip Therapeutics. So we are a leader in developing psychedelic drugs for two areas. One is eating disorders, and the other one is chronic neuropathic pain conditions. We're really differentiated from a lot of other companies in that we uh, look for drugs that are already safe. Um, there's already a history of that. So that's one of the two things that uh, the FDA looks to for approval, safety, and efficacy. So we're already through the safety phase of it and now just need to test for efficacy. Got it. And do you want to maybe talk just briefly about your background coming into yeah. this space? Sure. I'm a uh, physician from University of Pennsylvania. Also happened to pick up an MBA from Wharton School of Business. I've been doing drug development for the last uh, 20 plus years. I was a uh, venture capitalist with a firm called Healthcare Ventures. We managed about 380 million, had the best returns of any fund of our uh, vintage. I also worked at Pfizer as head of cardiovascular licensing and development. We licensed Lipitor from Park Davis while I was there. And further was head of business development at Myriad Genetics in Salt Lake City. They're the company that developed the breast cancer diagnostic test. Got it. It's very strong background. Um, James, I want to ask you, um, you know, the psychedelic space is quite new to investors. What can our attendees um, expect to take away from this virtual series? So, Neil, I'm going to make a bold prediction and say that psychedelics are likely to dominate the news flow later on this year. So we've obviously been through uh, COVID. I think that landscape is changing uh, dramatically with the new vaccines and therapies. And psychedelics will, will kind of go into that uh, media space because of two reasons. First of all, you're seeing dramatic improvements in, in the lives of people with these psychiatric conditions. In case you're not familiar, uh, you know, psychiatric conditions have been kind of a backwater for medicine. There was just the uh, SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors that were developed about 10 or 15 years ago. These are the Prozacs and Zolofs, and they were modestly effective, but since then there's really been nothing. And right now we're seeing dramatic benefits as well as long treatment effects from uh, psychedelics. And also a lot of funding has moved into the space and that funding is basically going to clinical trials. That's gonna produce uh, news flow, including uh, what we intend to put out as well. Got it. We're going to be hearing, learning, and educating ourselves on all of this stuff in the upcoming virtual series. So uh, to anybody that has not already registered, feel free and do so. Uh, again, I am talking to James Coe. James is the CEO of Trip Therapeutics and will be featured and participate in the Investing in Psychedelics series, which will talk about building value through IP. Thanks again for your time, James, and I look forward to um, hearing from you at the conference day. Have a great day.